Is this a flavor of milkshake? What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. The brand new movie that just dropped on streaming is called Gunpowder Milkshake, and it's very reminiscent of a film like John Wick. We're going to talk about it today, spoiler-free as always, and let's get into it. So, three generations of women fight back against those who could take everything from them, starring Karen Gillan, Lena Headey, Carla Gugino, Paul Giamatti, Ralph Einson. It's a really good cast, and a premise that has all of the promise in the world, and I have to give kudos to a movie like John Wick. Ever since we got that film, we've had multiple interpretations come out, and they've felt very reminiscent to that very specific type of action-heavy, gun-toting style of movie with various interpretations on that. Now, Gunpowder Milkshake definitely has things that allows it to stand apart, and it does also kind of feel like a Quentin Tarantino kill bill at times, especially when you look at some of these action scenes. One in particular that was just incredible. And huge amount of kudos have to go to Karen Gillan, who just crushed this role. I mean, she is genuinely great when it comes to the action. In terms of her character, I did need a bit more from her. The emotional resonance wasn't quite there, and... There's not that range that I believe is necessary for the story that they've given her. Now, obviously, you think back to John Wick. Keanu Reeves, range isn't the first thing you think of, but there's a very specific thing he has to do in that movie, and I believe he executes it well. Gillen is great when it comes to the action, but I did need more. And maybe it's just the writing that went into her character. There's an emotional attachment, a bond that you're supposed to feel with her and her mother. I feel like that should have been explored just a bit more in the film. And that criticism kind of comes post-introduction because the intro shows us exactly what went down, what happened with her, how she ended up in this life. And I thought that was really well done. It got me invested in the story almost immediately. And there's some nice lore there with her. Also, the librarians that come in, there is... More to be explored, absolutely, and I was completely on board with where they were going. And then when they bring everyone back at the end, I'm like, okay, I'm loving what they're giving us. Especially, and here's the real highlight of the film, with the choreography. It's very impressive when you're comparing this to other films in the genre. And this has one, maybe two standout action-centric scenes that stand up to some of the best we've seen in the genre. Again, kudos goes to Gillen, but just the stunt choreography in general is awesome here. I love the color correction, the vibrancy of this movie. It has this neon drive-esque flair to it, a visual style that we don't get all that often. It, it feels retro in a way, but at the same time, you're just kind of moved by uh, not just the color, but also the cinematography is really good. So visually, on a technical level, this movie is firing on all cylinders. My big issue, not something that's going to keep me from having a good time with this movie, because I had a good time with this film. It's very entertaining. I just wish the story wasn't as cliche as it was, if that makes sense. Sometimes simplicity is your friend, and I feel like maybe there is just too much going on here. One or two elements that they could have taken out entirely, scaled it back just a bit, maybe focused more on her relationship with her mom, or this little girl that comes in and kind of becomes her protege in a way, and then at a point, the movie almost feels like it's ending, and then you realize that there's still the big boss, and you're like, oh man, there's still, still 25 minutes left in this film. Uh, and I still had fun with those 25 minutes, and that was one of those action scenes that really blew me away with the librarians. It was awesome. Uh, but at the end of the day, I do wish the story was a bit stronger and there was more of an emotional attachment. That being said, if you're looking for action, if you're looking for fun, and if you love these stars, I have a feeling you're going to have some fun with uh, Gunpowder Milkshake, which sounds delicious. And before I give you guys my score, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these reviews, be sure to drop your thumbs up. Netflix reviews almost every day this week, even if there is much to be desired from the story. Gillen shows her range as an action star, and the film is beautiful. And I mean beautiful to look at. My score is a 65%, a solid 6.5 out of 10 for gun, powder, milkshake. I need to know down below, guys. Did you enjoy this film? Did you think it was as visually spectacular as I did? And did you expect maybe a bit more from the overall story like I did? Or did you feel the opposite? That's what a review is all about. You guys are truly the best. Thanks for watching. This is my third video planned for the day it goes out. And my next video will be another one. 
that makes four. All right, see you soon.